joins us to talk about the parishes of for the year of kindness. Year of kindness. Okay, so year of kindness. Tell me, so I hear that. It's a wonderful theme, but what is this? People are kind. I think a lot of people don't realize that they're kind. They don't stop and think about being kind. And they don't recognize when other people are being kind. They see it, but they don't acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. So we decided that we would have, for this year, a year of kindness. We in, had banners made. In November, made. right? You started in, in November. We started in November. Yeah. We have a banner in the church that is a, a long branch with leaves just coming out, and it says, spread kindness. We have a banner in the classroom building for the children that says, choose kindness. And it looks like it was drawn by children with crayons. We had these bracelets made that we handed out to everybody. They say, always be a little kinder than necessary. So people will know that we think they're kind already, but just one step further. Uh, Father Jim Savage, who is currently the pastor at St. Eulalia's, does a family mass for nine o'clock. And he went to the library and found a book called The Kindness Quilt, which he used with the children's, at the children's mass. And from there we decided we're gonna have the kids make a kindness quilt. So they actually came out with two quilts. It was kindergartners through sixth graders. They all had a square of fabric. They drew on with markers, indicating a way to be kind, choose people to play games with you, walk the dog, help your mother with groceries. So we have two beautiful quilts hanging in the church now. And the quilts and these bracelets seem to have been a big hit. It and you know, it's, it, you know, this seems like such a simple idea. Uh, but I say to people all, all the time, you know, just can't we be nice to one another? Because exactly. we live in a very coarse and crass uh, period in, in history. And uh, So where did this idea come from? And what kind of an effect has it had upon St. Eulalia? I think it's had a large effect. Uh, we started off just hoping that people would greet each other coming into church, in church, that they would move into the pews and let somebody sit with them. And I have noticed that people are talking to each other more and more uh, and talking about being kind and kids outside the parish are talking about being kind. Um, so I think, it's, I think it's been great. I find myself that I wear this all the time. If I'm driving and something happens, I can take a deep breath and, <laughs> you know, and go with it. <laughs> well, so what's interesting to me is so it's the year of kindness. Year of kindness. What do you do on <laughs> November 4th? Because you want to keep <laughs> being kind. So does it carry well, over? Well, first of all, yes, it will. Our final, our final uh, task for the, the year is going to make a paper to be making a paper chain with kind deeds that have been accomplished all year long. We're going to have the, the kids from the CCD classes pull it out of hopefully boxes and boxes and boxes and just walk around the church with it. But we have so many ministries that do kind things that don't necessarily get recognized. Uh, we have... Um, what do we have? We have a lot of things. Um, many, many good things. Many good things. You know, yeah. my mother used to say, we'd come out of Mass, and she would turn around in the car and say, stop fighting, you just received Jesus in Holy <laughs> Communion. You know, do you, there must be some connection that people make in their heads about the prayer that we just offered, the sacrament we just received, and who is Jesus it. himself, yes. and, and, and how can we not be more than kind? We had 801 gifts on our giving tree this year. Uh, we have people who go to St. Matthew's Food Pantry constantly. We have a prayer shawl ministry that not only does prayer shawls, we do hats and scarves for the Boston Health Care Alliance for the homeless. Uh, water socks, they call them, which are covers for the, the water filters that the Little Sisters of the Poor distribute to places in the world that don't have fresh water. Uh, purple hats for crying babies. We, we have so many new things that we're making to go every place. So in a sense, Claire, this is kind of an awareness campaign. Exactly. Just be aware. We should be if kind we know to one another. We know you're kind. Just amp it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being you're with very us. Welcome.